Now I'm about to review a book that I've wanted to review for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet because, well, the book is kind of pricey and it's not that easy to find, but I think you're going to like it. Stick around. Hello everybody. Welcome to Savage Flies. I'm Matt. Thanks for stopping by. So the book I'm talking about is by Dave Hughes. It's called Trout Flies, The Tires Reference. So let's talk a little bit about this book. It was published by Stackpole in 1999. It's got 470 pages, nice high gloss pages. The book really feels like a college textbook. And it's broken down into three major parts. Part one is about 40 pages. It's called Trout Fly Basics. Part two is called Searching Flies for Trout, and that's about 110 pages. And the third and biggest part of the book, it's called Flies for Trout Food Forms, and that's about 300 pages. Now, part one is a lot of background and really some theory. He talks about presentation versus imitation and searching flies versus imitative flies. And then, you know, what are the difference between specific patterns or general patterns? And those are the first three chapters of part one. The next three chapters, he talks a little bit about materials and tools and, and then a little bit on the, the basic tying techniques. Now, part two about the searching flies, that's when he really starts getting into the tying. And he starts with searching dry flies with one of the most popular dry flies ever, the Royal Wolf. Now, I know a lot of intermediate to more advanced tires out there can tie a Royal Wolf. Say you've never tied one before, you could probably tie one with, you know, six or eight steps. But check this out. This one, he's got 30 steps and very detailed pictures on how to tie the Royal Wolf. And then he goes into other dry flies with other wolves and some humpies, some stimulators, and some parachute dry flies, and then a couple in the Catskill style. Also still in part two, after the searching dry flies, he goes into the searching nymphs. He's got four what he calls his basic four. He has pretty specific instructions on the hare's ear and then Whitlock squirrel, and then a muskrat and a hurl nymph. He goes a little bit into some bead heads and then the flashback nymphs, some princes and zug bugs. Then after the searching nymphs, he goes into some searching wet flies. Got the soft hackles, the flimps, uh, winged wet flies, and then the all fur wet flies. And then he's got a few chapters on some searching streamers. Standard muddlers and buggers, then some bucktails, and even some feather wing streamers. Now after that, part three of the book is called Flies for Trout Food Forms. And it's 17 different chapters in this one. It's got some chapters on mayflies, nymphs, emergers, duns, and spinners. Then your stoneflies, caddisflies, midges, and dragonflies, scuds, leeches, and then all kinds of terrestrials. And the format for this section of the book, which is the bulk of the book, like right here, when he goes into the chapter on mayfly duns, he's got a little bit of history and shows some of the adult patterns, talks a little bit about the entomology on it, and then goes into the various tying steps. And so for this one, the blue winged olive, he might have 20 plus steps on just tying the blue winged olive, but then after that, he's got all kinds of variants and other flies that if you know the, the steps for tying this one, oh, by the way, you can also tie all these others. And he follows this format throughout the rest of the book. And I didn't count the total number of flies in this book, but it's got to number in the several hundreds. But I still wouldn't call it a pattern encyclopedia, and I wouldn't exactly call it a how-to book. It's kind of a, a mix of a, a, maybe not a history book, but an entomology book with a how-to aspect to it, and then with an, an aspect of a pattern encyclopedia. So it's really got the, the best of all worlds here. So let's wrap this up. In a nutshell, who is this book for? Well, I'm not gonna say it's for a beginning tire. I mean, a beginner could definitely learn a lot from this book and you would definitely benefit from having it, but it probably shouldn't be your very first book if, if you're just starting to tie. Now, it's definitely not a how to fish book. It's definitely a tying book. But again, I would say for an intermediate to advanced tire. Now, what's my overall impression of this book? It's an amazing book. It's probably, for modern books, it might be the best one out there. If I was about to be holed up in a remote cabin for the next six months with my fly tying equipment and one book, I probably would take this one. Now again, it is pricey, so I've not recommended this for a casual tire or for someone in their first book. But to me, is it worth the, what it's gonna cost you and the 
60, 70, 80 dollar range. Yeah, I think it is. If you're more than just a casual tire, I think you'll love this one. Now I did pick up an extra copy of this book and as this is Savage Flies, I like to give back to the community. Let's do that today. I'm gonna to publish this video Sunday, uh, September 12th, 2021. I'm going to do a drawing next Sunday, which will be, I guess, September 19th. So if you're interested in winning a copy of this book, leave a comment anywhere in that comment. Just put hashtag Hughes, pound sign, H-U-G-H-E-S. Next Sunday, I'll go to the random comment picker. I will select a comment that is used as hashtag, and I'll get a copy of this book to you. And one thing I do need to caveat is this is a real heavy book. I hate to do this, but I just can't afford to send this book overseas. So if you are from Western Europe or Australia, I mean, this eight pound book would cost me more to ship it to you than it's worth. So, but go ahead and enter if you want. If, if you happen to win it, I'm probably gonna have to substitute a gift card for you guys. And then I'll just have to donate an extra copy of this book to, you know, the runner up. So there you go, an amazing book. I think it's really one of the, the best modern books out there. I hope you're interested in it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.